Hello friends, this video is about jute cultivation, breeding and different economic utility. Subscribe my channel to get further updates on different genetic breeding and genetics and uh, breeding topics. As you know the scientific name of jute is corcoris species. It is uh, one of the major commercial crop of India as well as South Asian countries. The chromosome number of jute is 14, belongs to family Teleaceae. It belongs to genus Corcorus and uh, Corcorus include 40 species. In India only 8 species occur. Two cultivated species are Corcorus capsularis and Corcorus olitorius. Corcorus capsularis is white jute. 50 races occur in this and Corcorus olitorius is Tossa's jute 8 races occur in this both the species are not crossable among the two olitorius yields more fiber per unit area jute is also known as golden fiber it grows well on alluvial soil and requires high temperature heavy rainfall and humid climate it leads or it is a leading producer or jute major cultivators are India and Bangladesh. The fiber is finer, soft, more lustrous and less rooty than capsularis. Olitorius occupies about 25% of jute area in India. As I am discussed in the previous line that uh, Olitorius, which is mainly cultivated in India or rest of the world, is has a finer fiber, softer, more lustrous and less rooty. One of the drawbacks of uh, Tossa jute is premature flowering if the varieties are sown earlier in March to April in early monsoon rains. The premature flowering leads to profuse branching and uh, deterioration in fiber quality. Capsularis strains are characterized by a single flush of flowering at the end of single vegetative period. Based on maturity, varieties in capsularis are divided into early flowering in June, medium in August, late in September. Coming to history of jute, it has been used since ancient times in Africa and Asia to provide a cordage and weaving fiber from the stem and foot from the leaves. In several historic documents like uh, N. E. Akbari by Ab Abul Fazal in 1590 during the era of uh, Great Mughal Emperor Akbar states that the poor villagers of India used to wear clothes made of jute. Jute is uh, the integral part of culture of Bengal for uh, centuries in India. In 19th and 20th century, raw jute was carried off to UK. Industry boomed after invention of machine in 1901. Appearance of synthetic fiber in 1970. Trade declined largely in the following years means after 1970. trade reduced when the synthetic fibers appeared from England and uh, it appeared in the rest of the world. Between 2004 to 2009, market recovered price increased more than 200%. Properties The first property is fiber surface and appearance. Yellow to brown, too dirty gray in color and natural silky lustrous appearance. Textile strength, it is not uh, stronger than flax because of the irregularities in the thickness of cell wall. Elongation, elongation breaks at 1.7%. Elastic properties, it is a stiff fiber and not tend to return its original length completely when the tension is relaxed. Specific gravity is 1.5. Length is 1 to 4 meters or 3 to 12 feet. Effect of moisture 
moisture regain percent is 13.75 jute can absorb much uh, as much as 23 percent of water under humid conditions effect of age high content of non cellulosic matter makes jute sensitive against chemical and photochemical attack effect of microorganism it is more resistant to microorganisms due to protective effect of lignin and this is a bark of uh, jute the outer covering is bark the bast fiber is inside the bark inside or innermost portion is for air circulation just uh, outside it is core fiber and uh, the middle most portion is covered with pectin the chemical properties of jute effect of bleaching it is not affected by oxidizing and reducing bleaching agents acid effect is destroyed by hot concentrated acids dilute acids can't do harm to the fiber alkali effect that gives strong alkali destroys the fiber and strength is reduced organic solvents resistant to organic solvents then mildews better than cotton and lignin means so that is resistant to mildew better than cotton and lignin effect of insects good resistance was uh, observed diability good and easily died electrical and thermal conductivity is moderate the chemical composition of jute is it's a cellulosic fiber a repeating unit is also cellulosing jute is composed of 65 t cellulose and 35 percent natural wages oils and cements that is lignin the component cellulose is 65.2 percent hemicellulose 22.2 lignin 10.8 water soluble 1.5 and fat and wax 0.3 percent the physical properties tenacity is 3.5 to 4.5 or uh, 40 to 70 grams per tax length is 0.2 to 30 inch stretch and elasticity not good and 2% elongation at break that is 1.7% uh, a resiliency not very good abrasion resistance relatively good dimensional stability is good moisture regions 13.75 specific gravity 1.48 to 1.5 color yellowish yellow brown golden heat resistance is good specific heat is 0.32 diameter 18 microns and cross section is uneven thick cell wall with lumen coming to the jute biology it's a natural fiber known as golden fiber as i already discussed it comes from the stem of herbaceous annual plant corcorus it's a second in the world's production of textile fiber after cotton india china bangladesh are leading it is almost entirely a market oriented crop bangladesh is a largest contributor for raw jute curd production the height of plant is 8 to 12 feet commercial jute varies from yellow to brown grayish color bundle of fiber held together by gunny gummy material Lignin plays important role in structure of plant. By contrast with the regular human flax um, and other jute is uh, irregular, it becomes narrow in places quite suddenly. The structure of fibers, uh, longitudinal view is given here and uh, the cross-sectional view. This is how the diagrammatic representation, orientation angle, secondary wall, primary wall, cell wall, microfibers and lumen. Coming to the two species cultivated in India as I already told, Olitorius that is uh, Tossa jute and uh, Capsularis that is white jute. 
Tossa jute accounts for 75% of total land area under jute cultivation. It is hardy and highly adaptable, grows well on both lowland and upland. The second one is uh, white jute or capsularis, not grown much in India, does not easily adapt to harsh conditions and can be grown only on lowlands. Coming to the breeding objectives, the first and foremost is high yielding short duration jute varieties. Early varieties are generally low yielders whereas late varieties are high yielders. So to combine high yield with early years is one of the main objective. Yield is positively correlated with height, basal diameter of stem and fiber stick ratio. Higher photosynthetic capacity with increased lamina, length, breadth, PTO length and leaf angle at 400 also contribute to yield. The quality of fiber. In jute, quality is negatively correlated with yield. The quality characters are fiber length, strength, fiber color, luster, percentage and quality of retting, proportion of fault like roots, specks and knots. Environment plays a major role in quality, alternate and fluctuating bright sunshine humidity and temperature and rainfall at minimal level are favorable for improved quality retting in clear and slow running water gives good quality fiber tall and thick plants in general gives inferior fiber than that of short and thick plants the third objective is breeding for pest and disease resistance the pest, stem borer and aphids are major damaging factors. Among diseases, macrofomina is major. Though resistant sources are available in other related species, crossability barriers prevent transfer, gene transfer. The fourth is breeding varieties for higher seed yield. Since jute is cut for fiber at 50% flowering stage, it is essential to reserve some plants for production of seeds. Fiber obtained from seed crops will be poor in quality, hence it is necessary to breed varieties specially for high, high seed production with, without losing quality characters. The fifth objective is breeding for oleatorious varieties having non-shattering habit coupled with non-pre-flowering habit. The varieties developed are JRO5024, JRO7885, Sudan Green into JRO632. Coming to the breeding methods, the first is germplasm building and utilization. Central Jute Technological Research Institute, Kal Kolkata, is maintaining jute collections. This shows wider range of variability, thus uh, offering great scope for improvement by selection and hybridization. The second technique is introduction. Introduced for short duration varieties are Jap Green, Jap Red, Jaichung, Sudan Grass. Next is hybridization and selection. First one is intervarietal. Here multiple crossing and selection are followed both in oleatorious and capsularis improvement. In oleatorious, improved varieties are JRO 524, JRO 7885. In capsularis, JRL 412, JRL 919. Since yield and quality are negatively correlated, a balance must be struck in breeding for improved varieties. Interspecific crosses. So far not successful attempts were made by state crosses mixed pollen method, stigmatic paste method, self anther paste method, stigma cut method, polyploidy breeding. But none of them provide successful difference in embryo endosperm growth is the region. Next is mutation breeding. The next is mutation breeding. Using X-rays, useful jute mutants were obtained at Kolkata with JRC 7447 and Rupali 2 varieties. 
Coming to the another important variety that is Chaitali Tossa JRO878. It has been developed by crossing JRO620 into Sudan Green. It has red color pigment, non shattering pods, and resistance to premature flowering. Sowing time is mid March to last April. Seed rate 2.5 to 3 kg per acre. Early variety, best quality, oleaceous class. Cultivation of jute. Once economy was uh, largely dependent on jute and it was our main crop to earn the highest amount of foreign currency. The cultivation practice includes land preparation, use of pesticides, sowing seeds in uh, time at proper distance, irrigation, cutting, jute rotting, fiber collection, washing and drying, then fiber processing. The jute cultivation practice in white and tossa type also differs. The climatic requirement for white is uh, 24 to 35 degrees Celsius and 90 degree humidity for white and it is favorable for better cultivation. Though stagnant water is harmful but crops can stand water at their later growth stage. The tossa is also same as white. The soil requirement for both the cultivars sandy loam clay loam or loam with ph 6.2 to 7 land preparation very fine clawed free tilt of soils are favored here germination as jute seeds are very small in tossa also the same condition but particularly for tossa jute land with well drained system is most suitable Time of sowing of white jute is mid February to April, whereas Tossa is mid March to May. Variety selection in white JRC 321, JRC 212, JRC 7447, and uh, other varieties which are developed recently. In Tossa, also JRO 524, JRO 66, and JRO 7835. Seed rate for broadcasting. 8 kg and line sowing 6 kg in white type in tossa type 6 kg for broadcasting and 4.5 in line sowing seed treatment with carbendazine 50 percent at the rate of 2 grams per kg or mango 75 percent at the rate of 5 grams per kg sowing and um, spacing broadcasting plant to plant 10 to 15 centimeter after thinning then manuring and fertilizer uh, FIM 5 tons per hectare. For the NPK requirement is 60 is to 30 is to 30 for uh, white type and tossa type 40 is to 20 is to 40. Weeding two hand weeding at uh, 15 days and 30 days respectively twice wheel hoeing or one hand wheel weeding plus one wheel hoeing at uh, 15 and 30 days after sowing respectively with any herbicide uh, quizalophob ethyl 5 percent ec at the rate of 2 ml per liter of water effective for grassy weeds at 20 to 25 days after sowing Plant protection with uh, if infestation or infestation is occurred, suitable pesticides are so sprayed. Harvesting, uh, the harvesting is 120 to 135 days for optimum yield with good quality fiber. Retting through scientific ribbon retting method. In presently recommended, it is not widely prescribed by the farmers. Generally, simple rural indigenous techniques are followed and retting is performed in the water of local ponds, tanks, bills, etc. Bundles are kept in standing water with a depth of 30 cm and uh, later are placed in layers of 2 to 3 and tied together. They are covered with water, hyacinth or weeds to avoid the tanning or iron problems. Floats are then weighed down with seasoned logs or concrete blocks or sometimes submerged with bamboo cratings 10 cm below under the retting water. 
floats the ready uh, for exertion between 12th to 16th day when the temperature of the retting water reaches around 34 degree centigrade and its pH 6.5 to 7. The reeds become loose and can be smoothly peeled out. Therefore, those are thoroughly wa washed, withdrawn and uh, finally sun dried for 2 to 3 days. Yield is 25 to 30 tons per hectare. Coming to jute seed production by vegetative propagation. This is the vegetative cutting fiber crop, how the cuttings are planted. This is the procedure, the 70 days after sowing of fiber crop using thinned out plants at the side within fiber crop plots, 90 days after sowing of fiber crop using thinned out plants at the side within fiber crop plot and 120 days after sowing at the time of harvest leaving the same plants for fiber extraction. There are some uh, promising techniques or economic techniques. Only one third fertilizer dose required when it is done to at separate plots and one fungicide spray with the 2% urea solution. Rooting hormone is very cheap and easily available at all nurseries. No weeding required, only earthing up of plants required to avoid stem rot and death during following rainy seasons. Minimum 4 to 5 kg seed obtained from one Minimum 4 to 5 kg seeds are obtained from one keta which gives at least 5 to 6 bigas of fiber crop. Seed quality better assured purity, 100% germination, covers a small portion of plot, so no disturbance to other cropping. Also profitable when done with mixed cropping of amaranthus, mage, copy, etc. Total domestic requirements of jute seed around 5000 tons, thus should be a profitable crop if done for commercial purpose. The actual cost benefit ratio at farmers field expected to be obtained every season this is the criteria or the economic techniques uh, why the cuttings or stem cuttings are utilized instead of using the seeds the processing of jute the extraction on preparation of jute fiber involves the traditional method of retting during this simple at skilled process fiber is loosened with wooden millets before being carefully washed and dried in the sun. The dried jute fiber are then graded by quality before being baled and sent to manufacturers ready for viewing into jute rugs. This is how the harvesting and retting is done in standing water. Washing and drying process. Spinning raw jute fiber. the root fiber this problem is uh, carefully improved the recomposition or retting of jute the here i am discussing some of the defects in jute fiber the specky or spotted fiber due to improper retting and washing causes foreign materials to stuck with the fiber and spot is created croppy fiber the fiber at the top of the plant becomes sticky and rough if the plants don't immerse in to the water properly while retting can cause this problem. Weak fiber is due to over retting, bundling in wet condition and storing for long time reduces fiber strength can cause this problem. Sticky fiber, knotty fiber, dead fiber, hunka fiber, mossy fiber, heart damage, transit or exterior damage are some of the other uh, problems with mm, the jute fiber coming to production and processing of uh, fiber this I have already discussed in the cultivation slide this is how the production and processing is done this is a stepwise process first cultivation then harvesting retting, stripping washing 
drying, bailing and package and storage. Sowing of jute starts in March and April. Harvesting one after 120 to 150 days. Retting process. Here fiber get loosened due to decomposition of hard cell wall. In stipping process that is fiber extraction. Here removing of the fiber from stock from the completion of retting. Fibers are removed from the stock by any methods like single plants are taken and their fibers are taken off. Taken off a handful of stocks, breaking it into and uh, fro motion in water to and fro motion in water. Here extracted fibers are washed in clean water. Dark color of fibers can be removed by dipping them in tamarind water for 15 to 20 minutes and again washed in clean water. Drying in this hung on bamboo railing for sun drying for 2 to 3 days. After drying fibers are ready to be sold in market. Then packaging or packing. Coming to the jute products, these are the pictures showing jute products like rope, carpet, bags, yarns, coaster, bags, dress, chappal, carpet. This is how the geotextile is made from jute. Soil saver like it is used in the hilly portion in order to save the soil erosion. Coming to the utility of jute, um, bags and sacks used for agriculture producers, mineral cements etc. Pack for packing wool and cotton, wrapping material or fabrics, carrier and uh, backing fabric for carpet and uh, linoleum, cordage and twines, webbing to cover inner springs in auto seats and uh, upholster furniture cargo separator in ship cloth for mine ventilation and uh, partition filling material in cable roofing and floor covering apparel footwear lining wall covering the furnishing fabric and soil erosion control fabrics Advantages of jute, greater antistatic property, low thermal conductivity, 100% biodegradable, so environment friendly like cotton, cheap in market, can be widely used in agriculture sector, textile, oven and non-oven sector. Jute fiber can be blended with natural and synthetic fibers. Disadvantage it, the crease resistance of jute is very low, drape property is not good enough, create shade effect and becomes yellowish if sunlight is used. If jute is wetted, it loses its strength. The production problem is field duration of fiber jute is 110 to 20 days and field duration of jute seed crop is around 180 days. Thus rendering jute farmers not being able to keep their own seeds for the next year. Major jute grower districts of West Bengal like Nadia, Hooghly etc. witness at least three crops a year as practiced by the farmers. Thus they prefer two short duration crops instead of one six month long jute seed crop for selling purpose. Main growing period of jute seed crop is the rainy season with unpredictable rainfall leading to loss of crop due to floods rendering in is quite uncertain. Thank you. I hope you liked this video.